Peace be with you, my dear sisters and brothers. We are in the fourth week of Advent. Only one day. Even though we have a short week, let us celebrate and meditate on the word of Mary who said yes. Let us have a deep meditation on Mary's yes. My dear sisters and brothers, this Christmas is to hear the voice of God and to say yes to him. We are reminded of once again a very special woman in the history of the world. Someone who was willing to say yes a yes that would change the world forever. A yes that is greater than any of us could ever hope to say. A yes to God to serve him beyond anything we could ever imagine. Luke tells the story of the Annunciation. It is difficult for me to imagine sitting at my parish doing my preparation for Christmas 2023 and reflect on the yes of Mary. How can one even trust this is an angel and giving me a message from God and asking me to do this unbelievable thing? Wow, Mary's yes is incredible, so pure, so innocent and so willing to cooperate with her God and know that everything will be okay. God picked Mary to be the mother of Jesus. She was blessed to be chosen. She didn't realize that at that young age all the implications for her yes. When Mary said her yes, she couldn't have imagined the hardships that were to come, the threats to her family from the beginning. Her yes was a process for Mary to dedicate to accept the in invitation of God to be the mother of the Son of God took more than just few minutes, not even a day, maybe weeks and months discerning what the Lord was saying to her. Her yes was a life-threatening event. She could have been stoned to death. Her yes was a daring event. Her marriage could have been divorced. Her yes was impossible event, becoming a mother without knowing a man. Her yes involves God visiting us. We can kiss the face of God in Jesus. Her yes was to be a teenage mother to raise God's son. Her yes was an inconvenient event, traveling a long distance to comply with the senses and delivering a baby in a stable. Her yes was to become a refuge from Nazareth to Bethlehem, from Bethlehem uh, uh, to escape to Egypt, and then from Egypt to Nazareth. Her yes was a new beginning. Her baby boy will make us new. The blind will see, the deaf will hear, the lame will leap, the dumb will speak. Peter will walk on the water, the storms will be calmed and the dead will live again. Her yes was an insulting event. Her baby will be called possessed, eating, drinking, friend of sinners, tax collectors and prostitute. Her yes was a horrifying event to watch her beloved son enduring unbelievable torture and death. 
Her yes was to be in dark hour of life after the death of her son with the apostle. Her yes was to receive the fire of the Holy Spirit on the day of Pentecost. Her yes was to see the glory of the resurrection of her son. Her yes took her to heaven with her body and soul. So my dear sisters and brothers, through a long process of discernment in prayer and in contemplation, through divine revelation and through an external sign in the conception of John the Baptist by her elderly cousin Elizabeth, she felt confident of the yes with regard to both its authenticity and its implications. Realizing that it was indeed the will of God, impossible it might be, and ridiculous to the mind of men and women, yet she knew that yes was real. So she said, I am the Lord's servant. May it happen to me as you have said. Consequently, I think the yes of Mary was not such a simple and easy process as presented briefly in the gospel. There was something more. There was much thinking, reflection, discerning done by Mary. Today as I approach Christmas, I stand in awe of her life and yes, wondering if she would still say yes if she knew the ending. I wonder if she realized how this baby Jesus was going to live his life and for how long. So my dear sisters and brothers, Following Mary, let me say a small S to my inconvenience. Let me say a small S to change of houses or transfer in the community. Let me say an S to the insult. Let me say an S to terrifying job that is given to me. Let me say yes to the dark moment of my life. Let me say and yes to receive the fresh outboring of the Spirit. Let me say and yes to experience new life and to see heaven in this Christmas. Mary will always intercede for us when we say one Hail Mary, we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. So, let us courageously say yes to life with Mary and celebrate Christmas. Merry Christmas to all of you. Amen. Amen. Amen.